<clears throat> Hello everyone. Uh, so let's quickly make uh, a schematic and then a circuit symbol for that schematic so that we can use it later for uh, different applications. I'll, I've chosen an, uh, an inverting amplifier for our lab today. Uh, let me uh, choose a library and go to a new cell view. And let me name it as an invert amp schematic schematic okay <clears throat> this is our inverting uh this is our window instantiate that's instantiate instantiate and instrumentation amplifier operation amplifier hit the i key uh go to the browse use the ahdl library search for opamp this is the ideal operational amplifier just place it there fit the window so we have the Inverting and uh, invert, which takes the invert, inverting, sorry, non-inverting uh, voltage, and uh, a non-inverting -invert, end, which is also called the negative end, and then we have VDD and VSS. VDD the drain power supply, the voltage power supply, positive one, and we have VSS, which is the negative power supply. Voltage difference will be connected to the ground, and we have a V output. All right, so. I have chosen uh, an instrument, uh, inverting amplifier <clears throat> uh, of gain 10. So for that, I'll be choosing an, uh, the input resistance as R, R1 is 1 kilo ohm and the feedback resistance as 10 kilo ohm. So let me instantiate a resistance. So choose the, choose the library, analog library here. Okay, let me bring in a resistor. Rotate it. Hmm. What happened to the resistor? It's just just went away. Okay, instantiate a resistor. Okay, just rotate it. So here's your resistor, and then we have a feedback resistance which will be here. Hit the window. Hit the W key for the wire connection. Connect these two. Connect the feedback resistance, the output voltage, and we have a hanging wire here. <clears throat> okay, uh, with that, let me uh, change the value. Hit the Q key. It's by default it's one kilo ohm, so I'm, it's good. Well, R1 should be 10 kilo ohm. 10 kilo ohm, if we are looking at the output of the gain of 10, uh, 10 then we need, uh, since we know that for inverting amplifier, the feedback resistance or the input resistance is our gain, RF by R1. So if RF is 10, we'll have the gain of 10. <clears throat> the This end, the positive end uh, of, the, of the amplifier, operational amplifier should be grounded. So since we have to make a symbol of it so that, uh, the outer world can access all of the schematic as one single symbol. So uh, we will leave that uh, that thing uh, as it is right now. And we will connect the ports so that the outside world can access this amplifier with different uh, different ports. So having said that, let me, let me make a, a port. So you have to click the port or pin. So go to the create, for example, create a pin. And I'm calling this as a V in pin. And this pin's direction is input. OK, here's my input pin. Again, hit the P key. And now I'm saying V out. And the direction will be output. So I'll actually just bring this one. There's a reason I'm doing this thing. So instead of there, I'm putting it here. Now I'll hit the P key again. And uh, now I need the power ports for the power ports. I need VSS. Uh, sorry, I need uh, VDD. Yes, VSS. And I also need ground. And for the power ports or the input output ports, I'll use this one and hide. So first one was chosen as VDD. So this is VDD. This is VSS. And this is ground. I'm going to fit the window. All right. So uh, when we have to. Uh, choose multiple, uh, when we have to state the multiple 
ports in one go we just separate them here so we just separate them by spacing and we can do that now uh, after doing that take the wires and just connect them to all the all the um, all the ports of this amplifier take a wire that's it escape key w take a wire here escape key take a wire over here escape key w take a wire here escape key and take a wire so actually here you can connect it just connect it now there's a point that i would like to make so just before making the point now if since these these uh, wires that i've just made the hanging wires or the floating wires they are not connected with any of the ports so we, it's, this is v supply positive so vdd should be connected here but i'm not connecting it i mean this is there's no physical connection uh just like the v out v out could also the like v out has a physical connection right now so to make sure that these wires uh, are connected with these ports all i have to do is to label these wires with the same name so for the label you have to go to the create wire name here's the wire name or hit the l key and i would like to name vdd i also would like to name vss and v n and g and d so these are the four names all right so vdd this is vdd i would like this to be physically connected to v so once you click automatically the next element in our uh, in our uh, labeling would come so i wrote vdd first and then vss here's my vss i'll connect vss here so now uh, after that v in uh, pops in automatically so just click click the v in here and then ground so hit the ground here and again actually hit the c key because we need ground with we need ground with the with the input so hit the rotate key rotate rotate okay so i want the ground the the positive and the vnp the inverting non-inverting end to be grounded too so now uh so if you see that vss is not ver uh, physically connected but actually by naming the wire same as the port name they are now connected and that's there's a reason i mean i connected v out here i did not i mean i did, made a physical connection uh just to to prove the point that i mean whether you connect and name them or actually you physically connect that's one and the same thing there's there's no difference in it now try to go with the check and save is there any warning no warning we can quickly set the parameters of the of the amplifier hit the q key gain is uh, one exponent of six frequency gain is one exponent eight input resistance uh, is virtually infinite I, i'm saying 100 giga ohm and then bias current is one pico pico ampere uh, which is normally for the uh, uh, when we are using the field effect transistors this is the area one or ten picofarad of 10 amperes uh, is the area where it falls output resistance is one kilo ohm that's it so all these properties are now attached to this operation of default just check in save perfect done so once this is done all we have to do is make a schematic symbol for this to do that go to create create a cell view from the cell view all right and now it's uh, it's telling asking me that library name is this and from the view named schematic which is this one you want the symbol yes say okay now the next uh, next thing is asking that uh, you want left pin as v in right pin as v out and the top pins as vss vdd ground well no on the top i just need vdd and actually in the bottom i need vss and ground pin so so I, I have named I need in bottom these two pins. VDD should be top, V in left, and V out. Say okay, and actually, a symbol is formed. Just fit it. You see, input left, uh, V out is towards right. 
we did the top and as i mentioned and as i changed vss and ground towards the to, uh, towards the bottom after after doing that there's one error that you have to get rid of uh, 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 uh there's one fault so not an error uh, it, that we would like to name uh, the ports logically so just click that one that component and hit the l key once you hit that uh, the label choice should be logical label and it should it should, it's addressed uh, the label should be addressed by the not by the cell part name but by the cell name that's it once it's done hide and put it anywhere you know anywhere within that component and it's done this is the only thing that you have to do now the next thing just to beautify this i don't like this rectangle so i would just go hit the delete key i'll delete the outer outer box and i'll delete this box instead of that i would like to make a create a shape a beautiful symbol for our uh, amplifier so i'll take i'll take this one okay so that's my symbol this is uh, how i would like this symbol to be uh, treated in uh, in libraries when i'm using this as a component and after doing that i would just take this vss and i'll just So I will take this VSS and I will move it. Okay, here and also ground just to connect. Actually, even if they are not connected, that's okay. But that doesn't look good because you will be using this component. So that's why I would like to connect them. Okay, VDD is connected here. V out is connected here. V is connected here. Perfect. Just do check and save. Any errors? No. So then you can close this symbol and you can close your schematic just let me check and save in case no okay let me close it now actually you will see this is the invert amplifier and now we have the schematic and we also have the symbol which we have just created all right now we can go and go to a new cell view and we want to make an inverting amplifier one schematic open it instantiate instantiate what go to the browse Go to the library where you save your component, which was invert amplifier here. All right. So here's your inverting amplifier, which you have just designed with a gain of 10. This is the inverting amplifier that you we have designed. Okay. Let me fit the window. We have VR, we have ground, we have VSS, V in and so V in and VDD. Now, <clears throat> now to uh, let, let, let me bring quickly bring the power supply. Uh, to provide VDD and VSS, okay. Instantiate uh, from the analog library. Let me instantiate VDC. Okay, here's VDC and another VDC. And let me instantiate a ground pin. Here's the ground. Let me connect them by wire. Okay. Uh, let me uh, fl make a floating wire because later on I'll be connecting these wires. Uh, these uh, instead of physical connection, I'll be using the same naming concept here. All right, let me bring the label and I'm labeling VDD. I'm labeling VSS. I'm labeling um, V out. So this is my VDD. This is my VSS and this is my V out. So again, label VDD, VSS, V out. Here's VDD, VSS. Oh, V out was unnecessary. All right, because <clears throat> I already named it. And now uh, let me label this wire as V in. 
so that I mean later when we select this in simulation so we know that this wire is named green so now there's no physical connection but actually VDD is connected to this point and VSS is connected to this point and for the ground let me instantiate one more ground instead of that just let me copy this ground bring it here bring the wire connect it all right check and save there will be warnings what are the warnings all right uh, one very good lesson normally people won't know so when you see these four warnings and you are not aware of uh, of the warnings and what are those just close this and then hit the g key when you hit the g key it will tell you what are those warnings warnings say vn is floating pin v in to the instance is floating output is floating all right these are the warnings i, I don't care because uh, I haven't instantiated anything for the VN. So let's instantiate a input signal, which is sign multi sign signal. Okay, let me choose a value of uh, amplitude of two hundred millivolts. Uh, actually 500 millivolts and the frequency of mm, 20 hertz so that's my input signal VDD is let's choose it as mm, plus 12 let's choose this one as 12 okay I think we're good to go let me see what are the warnings okay it's saying that output voltage uh, output wire is hanging so this pin is hanging so i don't care about this thing okay uh, i can i can connect a capacitor of 10 picofarad or 1 picofarad to show to just to get rid of this warning so let me instantiate a capacitor instantiate a capacitor So just to get rid of that warning and then let me bring okay here's the ground i'll just connect the ground okay and what is the default value of the well, one pico fat is okay so it will it will just simulate my load let me see check and save and now this this warning will be gone you see I mean the, the warning doesn't show anymore all right once this is done let me create a test input launch ADE Excel create a new view okay uh, for this inverting MD5 one yes uh, yes close and then go to the test yes that's what I want then let me cancel let me choose a transient simulation for 200 milliseconds uh, keep on forgetting choose a conservative as uh, uh, as a as a tight accuracy and then choose the outputs from design from design i need v in and i need v out once these two are selected hit the escape key you can always see what are the inputs selected uh, you will see that the they will be highlighted over here in this, this area in the navigator when you select them okay so once they are selected and actually you can see here v in and v out is selected say okay and close it go to the the window here you can also close this one v in and v out is, v out is selected go to ade excel hit the save key and then hit the simulation all right sim zero errors one warning it's done hit the quick plot button and look at this so our input was five uh, uh, sorry half volt is that what let me see and output is five volts so it's 500 millivolts okay so the input is 500 millivolts and you see that the output for the inverting amplifier is out of phase by it's five volt and it's out of phase by 180 degree all right